our month of September was noticeably drier than average. DNR water management engineer Forrest Van Aston is used to addressing the lower water levels in the Northwoods. Water levels uh, can be very localized depending on local precipitation levels. Uh, some rivers, the flows are controlled by upstream dams, uh, as we're looking right here, and some rivers are just controlled by the natural flow of groundwater and precipitation. Different types of Wisconsin bodies of water are regulated by dams for several different reasons. We have a lot of flowages and impoundments in Wisconsin that are regulated by dams uh, for various reasons, uh, sometimes recreational, um, sometimes for wildlife impoundments. There are also reservoirs like the Rainbow Reservoir, which has seen water levels recede more than 100 feet away from the shoreline in spots. We also have many reservoirs in this area of the state that are used for water storage for downstream power generation. Uh, and we also just have a regular uh, run of river uh, flows and rivers around this area. These bodies of water are controlled largely by Mother Nature and the dams along their path. Most dams are actually for recreation or wildlife impoundments such as birds, waterfowl, that sort of thing. A lot of dams are used to increase wild, uh, wild rice production on lakes. Van Aston says there are dams of all sizes and uses in the Northwoods and some are so small you might not see them upon first glance. We have some dams that uh, only hold back maybe a foot or two of water, so dams that you can literally step over. Water levels are low, but Van Aston is optimistic that the natural cycle of precipitation will return the shorelines to their proper levels for next spring. No reason for concern. It doesn't look like we're in a long-term uh, water shortage, uh, but we're just kind of waiting for those replenishing fall rains to raise water bodies back up. In the Northwoods, Michael Lotholtz, Newswatch 12.